Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to play the E major scale on the clarinet. I'm going to be showing you how to play three octaves and I'm going to actually divide this video into three parts. So depending on what level you are on the clarinet, each video is going to be a different octave. So in this video I'm going to be showing you the first octave which is in the lower range, the second video is going to be the middle range, and the third octave is going to be the higher range. So to avoid making this video super duper long and overwhelming you with three octaves and a bunch of notes, I've decided to break it down into three parts so that if you're a beginner you can start off with this video, but if you're more advanced and already know the first two octaves, you can actually skip both videos and move on to the third one. E major is the fifth scale in the circle of fifths. There's going to be four sharps in E major, so there is G sharp, F sharp, D sharp, and C sharp. So instead of playing those regular natural, we're gonna raise it up a half a step as always. So that all being said, this is gonna be a super long video to break down, but here we go. Let's get started on how to play the E major scale. Okay, so the first note in the E major scale is going to be, of course, E. So the way we're going to play E is having all fingers down on the left hand as well as the right, and then your back thumb on this back keyhole, and your pinky is actually going to be on this key pressed down as well. So this is going to be E. <laughs> So we're going to actually be switching pinkies and my pinky is going to go on this key right here and all of your other fingers are going to remain the same. So all we're doing is switching pinkies like so from here which is E to here which is F sharp. This is our first sharp in the E major scale and this is what F sharp sounds like. So we go from E to F sharp. Next is G sharp, so we're going to be switching pinkies again and we're going to be putting our pinky here right above this key. This is where our pinky is going to press down and everything else is still the exact same. All we're doing is switching pinkies from the left to the right on this key right here. This is going to be G sharp. So all we're going to be doing next is actually lifting both the pinky and this third finger on your right hand up. So we're going from this key right here, which is G sharp, to A, natural. So only these three should be pressed down, plus one and two on your right hand, and the back keyhole should all be pressed down and covered. So this is A, we're going from G sharp to A. Next, what we're going to be doing is lifting that first finger of the right hand up, and we're leaving our middle finger here pressed down in this middle key right here. This is going to be B natural. And this is what it's going to sound like. Okay, so far we've played almost over half the scale of the first octave. So we've played E, F sharp, G sharp, A, B. This is what all of that sounds like. So it's coming together quite nicely. Okay, so we stopped at B. Now we're going to C sharp. So we're just lifting this bottom hand. So only the left hand is up on these three fingers plus the back keyhole. And our pinky is actually going to be pressed down on this little hook key right here. This is going to be C sharp. So we're going from B, lifting, pinky is going to be pressed down, and this is C sharp. Next, 
we're going to be lifting those two bottom fingers so that the hook is now not pressed down and the bottom finger is not covering that bottom hole. So you should have only two fingers, the first two top ones, plus the back keyhole. This is going to be D, however, you want to make sure that this bottom side key is pressed down as well using your, the pointer finger of your right hand. You want to make sure this bottom one is pressed down so that it raises it up a half a step and instead of D, you're playing D sharp since that's part of the scale. So one, two, back keyhole and this bottom key. This is going to be D sharp. <laughs> And finally, we're going to release that bottom side key and also release the second finger so that only this top finger and the back keyhole are pressed down. And this is going to be the last note of the E major scale for the first octave. So this is E. So back to B natural, we're going to be playing B, C sharp, D sharp, and D. So now that we've learned how to play the first octave, I'm going to stand for this part so that you can see my fingers corresponding to each note so that you can play along. Here we go. That's how you play the first octave of the E major scale. Alright you guys, that is the end of this video. Be sure to check out part 2 of this E major scale tutorial mini series for the second octave. So I will see you guys in part 2. See you there!